this is the driver's side right above the tire if you didn't have the inner fender like I don't have you can see that fuel pump right where that blue hose is coming off this is not the stock one this one I put in about a year and a half ago or I had put in rather and it's already broken from underneath the driver's side right above the starter you can see that banjo bolt up there with the yellow whatever the hell that is oh jeez got it sort of <laughs> No, it's not. I hurt my finger. God. Plug the wires in first. No sense in wrestling that later. Out goes to the front of the truck. In to the back. Don't mix that up. This pump is not stock, it's aftermarket. This is a 5 32nd Allen wrench to get these bolts off. I think that it came with another plate. I think the stock one had a different plate, so I have to figure out how to get make that plate work with this pump. The problem is this part's a little too thick. It won't fit through without messing up all the threads. You know what the dumbest part about this is? I totally have sockets like 10 feet away and I'm doing this with this stupid crescent wrench. I got For those of you who can't handle the pink crescent wrench, those bolts are eight millimeter. And if you use a deep socket, you can get in there and still clear these fuel lines right there you can see those those three you can see the shadow of them anyways three fuel lines deep socket eight millimeter you really don't want these super tight you want them snug if you do it too hard it's gonna blow out the gasket though so check your torque spec on that good luck getting a torque wrench in there though I didn't actually use the plate off of this pump but I'm gonna keep it because I imagine the pump's gonna go out again and next time hopefully I'll just have a good one ordered by then and if it uses that plate I'm gonna keep it just in case pardon the mess but if you've seen some of the last videos this thing was in a big wreck so you're gonna need to cycle the fuel a little bit so turn it about like that, give it about three seconds, turn it off. Turn it back on again, bump it, 
Yep. Don't try to start it, just bump it. This will engage the fuel pump. Hopefully build up some fuel pressure. This truck actually bleeds off its own air, but it is helpful to go in there and press the, the Schrader valve right there every once in a while. Truck's running now. You know what the stupid part is? The gauge is broken. I actually just ran out of gas. There was probably nothing wrong with that fuel pump. If this happens to you, probably check the gas gauge, make sure it's working. It was stuck. You see on the last clip, I'll show it right now. It was actually at like a quarter tank. I had plenty of gas, according to the gauge. But not so much in reality. The gauge appears to be working now. If you've made it to the end of the video, feel free to make fun of me in the comments section. Thanks for watching.